So uh, just just kind of quickly going over five MMA mount finishing drills for, for straight for MMA. What the hell do you do from, uh, what do you do from mount? Because uh, there's not enough finishes in MMA for mount. It's like ground and pound, hope the guy gives her back in a choke. There's not enough like thought out yeah. real, real finishes. Right? We're starting guard just for the beginning of the drill. So you're in guard. From guard and guys in pro, clavicle grab is legal. Yeah. So when guys extending you to kick up to get up or to get a triangle and stuff, you can grab that clavicle and come back down. Keep that in mind, especially with these cycle and okay. So this is legal now. I don't know about it, I'm not sure I don't know about it, but um, just keep it in mind. So we're gonna throw throw post. One, two, stand up, but put it So we're gonna throw post. Bing, bing, stand up, hip ass, and work your pass. Pass the side, go into our mount. As soon as you mount someone for the first time in a fight, really, and on the street, you should stay low mount. Because people, especially the amateurs, have this throwing off. You gotta be careful because a guy can bite you, but uh, for street, but you should go low mount with double grip, but okay? That way, you're basing out and I can roll when it does catch. From here, you might be able to, it's pretty low, you might get this double grape vine hunchback finish in there. Feel that? Yeah. Put my head on his head and push my hands and walk back. If not, fine. You hit the guy again, whatever. Now, even staying low, if I start punching lots of weight, he covers, right? So from that cover, you throw a, uh, a right hook. Bing. That's going to keep him his cover there and wrap it right into a double wrist lock, to, uh, top of the lock. From here, I'm going to scissor off. <laughs> Boom, drag that elbow down to the ground, rotate the elbow up, keep the hand kind of on the mat, but worry about the rotation. So this is the first, the first drill. Might as well drill it in there in an MMA contest. Because all this low passing shit, that you learn in jiu-jitsu doesn't work when you go in your face and they're like, yeah. everybody comes down and hides again, right? Uh, it shit doesn't work. MMA, it's the hip in pass, the hip F pass. But I figured, I was thinking about this the other day, why not set it up with legal? I can't squeeze the trachea, but I can post. So post on that shit, bing, bing, hop up, hip in, work whatever pass you want, usually I do slide. And if I caught in half for a second, it's fine. Boom, finish your pass. Go to the mount. Low mount, double great mount. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Keep your face intact and safe. Get your camera alone. Then, then you double great mount him. Push back here. Put your head on the corner. He doesn't have to spine. It's pretty painful. Put his hands on that. Spread his knees while doing the attack. Yeah. Hurts your knees. Come back in. Maybe punch him a couple times or even stay that low mount. Throw a hook, throw a hook if he covers, boom, you go from punch to the top of the slap grab. Keep your elbow tight here, right away, scissor off and slide it down. See, I could actually break it by, if I tie my knee off to the, the hole, I can actually just snap it by, because I'm, I'm wheeling my hip body off. Like as you're coming around? As I'm coming around. You saw what he, I didn't even have his hand on his back. And with my body pressure swinging off, he's like, oh, you know, he's already like, yeah. hey, be careful. You want to show him? Yeah. Hey, away from him. Period. So close guard. <laughs> Boom. Remember clavicle grabbing, elbows, all this stuff. Throw post. Ding! Ding! Watch arm bar if you're near the cage, by the way. Right. You are posting. Yeah. So if they're by the cage, watch them kick off the cage to the arm bar. But you can, you can suck this back. So ding, ding, post. Okay, all my weight's on the throat without squeezing. Okay, so I'm in tight with my legs. Tip in. You can do double underpass here, but then I'm really, I'm probably more likely to try this. Even if I've caught in half, or I, I got the staple kind of. So I can come in through. Bing, slide them out. Bing, low mount. Level great flat. Let's keep going. So bigger, stronger, you have throwing you off. But like the Black Beast in UFC, the heavyweight, he just stiff arms everyone off of him, side mount and mount. So you gotta stay low. Then, so I don't doubt as well as you right now. My, yeah, if I had a view about an ankle, then I would try to switch. If not, fine. Looks pretty cool though. <laughs> Bang, hit him here. He covers. Wrap. 
I'm not even grabbing this time. Roller lock off to side, bring it down. Okay, you can grab it. With them and sometimes I don't even bother taking. You can grab one, grab none, grab. And just keep them out. Yeah. So everything's tight, just swing off and get it. Easy, right? But it should be way more efficient. Instead of sitting on the guard forever. Yeah. If you're allowed elbows, do a couple elbows first. If it's able to, you can't. Do a tiny bit of ground pump, but then coach can get the F out of it. From the beginning of that, you, you're grabbing, you're grabbing, you're trying to pull. You can, yeah. And, and then for you guys, I don't know about the rules. So I just want you to be aware of it once you go pro. Yeah. I'll be up and watching you going pro. Okay. So I just want you to be aware of it. Then throw post. One, two, ding, ding, and then hip in. So if I'm not grabbing the cloud pull. Yeah, you work your regular ground pound, but then he's trying to wrap you up and stuff. Next time you get a chance to posture, go for that throw. Good. Boom. Work for your mount. Boom. Double low mount. Great fine. Low mount. Double great fine. They don't need covers. I did this in, in my like second play, third play. I just didn't hop off the side like I should have. But I had a nasty, nasty top wrist lock and mount. Then he pushed me off an arm button. But. Uh, by hooking to the head, the guy has to kind of cover. And so it sets up that top wrist one. Throw post. It's not on the clavicle for the pass. This is old Mario Sperry throw post pass. And you need to tip in. Yes. Two. Right in the mount, low amount, double grape fun. Try the hunch back first. Try to get the ankles lower on his ankles, post your hand up, and, and bring your butt up to the sky to hunch back. Spread his knees apart, so it's a double leg spreader. Stay low, hook him, boom, set that up. Swing the leg off, bam, and down. Nice, there it is. Okay, so drill that a couple times, then I'll show you the second one. Cool.